Are you looking for a travel trailer cover that's dependable and will protect your valuable investment? Yeah, it won't break the bank. It's something you actually afford. Watch this video. Good morning, Outie Goshen. I would like to introduce to you the Bose RV travel trailer cover. This thing's amazing. It's durable, breathable, and waterproof. But you know what? Let's jump right into the installation and we'll show you and tell you all about it. Before we begin putting on the cover, we have to make sure nothing will rub, poke, or wear the cover down over time. We want to make sure we take care of our investment so our investment will take care of our travel trailer. We started by trimming off any branches that might poke it. My 17-year-old, she's the brave one. She volunteered to climb on the top to take care of things up there, like more branches. While there, she also gave the camper a good sweeping to remove any leaves and twigs. Well, it needed a good cleaning anyway. Good job, Hannah. Next, we had to go through and cover all the sharp spots. We did this by cutting up an old swimming pool noodle. For the gutters, we cut them to size, slid them on, and used a rubber band to hold them in place by attaching it to the camper. We had four of these to take care of. We also found potential sharp spots too, like the antenna. Another pool noodle over the metal spots works perfectly. The cover comes with a convenient carrying bag and weighs just over 30 pounds. The instructions included are simple, so be sure to read them over before you get started. However, putting it on is so easy. Having two people makes this job much easier. Let's take it out of the bag Undo the compression strap and unroll it. Also take the time to unfasten any Velcro and loosen any zippers. It'll fit easier that way. Make sure you have lots of room to unfold it and get it ready to put on the roof. Once it's all spread out, the first step is to look for the tag that says front. There it is. Front. The single ply sides are light and breathable. However, the top is four ply. They both protect against rain, snow, dirt, mildew, and bird droppings. Okay. I'm going to use a hand towel to show you how to put it on nice and easy. Note the fresh eggs blue embroidery on the top. First, organize the cover on the ground with the fresh eggs on top, facing upward. Here's where the front tag is located. Fold over one side over the top, then the other side over the top. From the bottom, loosely roll up the cover toward the front tag. Take the cover to the bottom of the camper. Pull the section with the front tag up on the top of the camper. Then drop the sides. There we go, all set. Now let's do it for real. So we spread it out, flipped over one side on top, flipped over the other side on top, then loosely rolled it up toward the front tag. Carry the cover to the back of the trailer and make sure the exposed end with the front tag is pointing toward the camper. Then, using the front tag as the handle area, pull the cover up over the top of the camper. Please take your time and be sure not to snag on anything on the way up. Pull it all the way. Pull it all the way to the front of the camper and lay it down. Drop down one side off the side of the camper. Be sure to hold the rest of it on top so it doesn't slide off, especially if it's breezy outside. Having a helper during this part helps tremendously. Once you're finished with the first side, Go ahead and drop it on the other side.
Make sure the front and back of the trailer is covered as well, encompassing the entire trailer. Go through and zip the cover closed at the bottom and Velcro it in place over the top of the zipper. On the bottom and one side, you'll find three locations in which you'll find a coiled up strap. Uncoil it and toss it underneath the camper to the opposite side. Pull it through, snap it in the buckle, and pull the strap to tighten it up. Do this for all three locations along the bottom of the camper. At the rear of the camper, pull the two straps across and tighten them up. Then do the same for the front. Pull across the straps and tighten them up. All done. Your Bose RV cover is ready to go. Let's check out some features. You'll find all along the top, vents to keep air flowing, eliminating dampness in the cover. My favorite part, you'll also find convenient zipper locations where you can access the camper without having to take off the entire cover. This one is right in front of our door, very handy. If you like, you can roll up the piece you unzipped and tie it up using straps located all along the top of the cover. This makes it very convenient if you need to access the camper for a long period of time. However, we decided to open it up for just a moment to put the cover bag and strap in the RV so we won't have to look for it come springtime. All done. Just zip it back down and it's all set again. Quick and easy. Before we got this Bose RV cover, we went to the local RV store to see what they had in stock. Their covers were twice the price. Even when winter comes knocking on your door, the Bose RV cover is economical and built to last. We're so happy with our purchase and I'm sure you will be too. The Bose RV cover is awesome. Definitely give it two thumbs up. Yep, and if you guys would like to order this awesome RV cover, then the link for it is in the description below. Now they have two sizes. They have the 24 to 27 foot, and then they have this one, the 27 to 20, to, I'm sorry, the 27 to 30 foot. If you don't know us, we're out of Goshen, a family of nine homesteading in central Michigan. Make sure you guys check us out and subscribe. If you guys have any questions, please put them in the comments below. We'll answer them for you guys. Now thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, out of Goshen.